The paint on a locomotive is an important visual feature of a railroad. From employees to the public, it's observed everywhere from trackside, on promotional material, and corporate websites. Paint's application, durability, and ability to protect the metal car body from corrosion is important to railroads to ensure that their locomotives are well protected from the elements while conveying the corporate image. Paint must also be able to withstand humidity, salt spray, and detergents used to clean a locomotive, as well as being stone and chip resistant. Painting or repainting a typical diesel locomotive takes about four to seven days. Big factors on how long it takes include the condition of the body, the number of colors involved, and the complexity of the scheme. Four paint manufacturers have the majority of the locomotive finishing business in North America. They are Exalta, which is formerly DuPont, PPG Industries, Sherwin-Williams, and Strathmore. Exalta's Imron line, as well as PPG's Spectracron paints and Sherwin-Williams and Strathmore's line of industrial coatings, each have important roles in the market. Electromotive builder Electromotive Diesel uses PPG on locomotives built as subsidiary Progress Rail's Muncie, Indiana, and Bombardier's Sahagan, Mexico plants, while General Electric uses Exalta at its Erie, Pennsylvania, and Fort Worth, Texas plants. Railroads use qualification testing to ensure a particular brand of paint meets its standards for locomotive coatings. Environmental impact and performance are two of the most important factors when selecting paint. During the environmental portion of the review, a railroad looks for low VOCs, which are the volatile organic compounds that are released as the paint dries. A railroad needs paint to perform well during application to achieve high throughput of locomotives through a paint shop. Tightening environmental regulations at paint booths over the years and cost to equip paint shops to comply have pushed several Class 1 railroads to close their own paint shops in favor of using one or more third-party shops. Class 1 railroads that still paint locomotives in-house tend to use a single paint manufacturer, while those that use third-party shops can have more than one paint manufacturer used on their fleet, depending on the shop that performed the work. Smaller shops have the ability to use whatever paint is requested by a customer, but they prefer to use a single manufacturer if possible. Painting is a personal endeavor and every paint acts differently when applied. A paint shop is most efficient when it uses the same material consistently, allowing employees to be their most productive. Painting a locomotive is typically done in one of two ways. The majority of painted or repainted locomotives receive what is called a base clear paint job, which in the automotive industry is called base coat clear coat. This includes three layers of product, a primer, color, and clear coat. Less frequently applied is a single stage paint job which only uses the primer and color coat. This is typically done when cost is a factor and can occasionally be seen on lease and industrial locomotives. While labor to paint or repaint a locomotive is the largest cost involved, quality paint, primer, and clear coat can be costly. High quality materials can range from $40 to $200 a gallon with a typical locomotive requiring 15 to 20 gallons of primer, 10 to 20 gallons of color, and 8 to 10 gallons of clear coat. Do the math. Ultraviolet radiation from the sun is damaging to a paint job over time. Many manufacturers incorporate one or more components to the clear coat to either absorb or reflect these rays. Additional UV protection is also incorporated into the color coat as well. Applied properly, a good paint job can last on a locomotive for a decade or more, ensuring the railroad's corporate image looks its best.